Alright, hey, welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be discovering helmets and uniforms. Alright, so first up, this is a Vietnam era M4 helmet. Judging from the netting on the inside, judging from the netting on the inside here, that's how you can tell it's Vietnam. It has that V shape on each side. Now, you can fasten on your head like this. It has a second strap, but the problem was no, every time you see them in the movies, they have the chin strap up here, up there like that. Well, that's because that actually did happen. When explosions went off, it'd go back and snap their neck. But one of the things about this helmet is, it's a two piece. It's a two piece. It's a. Pl it's got a plastic cover on the inside for your head to fit in, and it's comfortable. And then it's got a metal outer shell. But then, in the mid '80s, they came out with the Paz Gat. So right now, I have a homemade cover. So just give me a second to take that off. All right. Here we go. It's out of the cover. This is the Paz Guy helmet. This one is a 1988. By the numbers, I don't know if it'll focus in. Right. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. I don't think so. There. 88. That's the year it was made. It's, that's that's the year. So, they learned from their flaw in World War II. Because here... It buttons up right here, so you can take it on and off without having to put it up over this part in case you don't feel comfortable like it that way. But it goes on the head like this, and it goes here, not on your neck. Here. This is the most common helmet in movies, things like that. That in the M1 is the most common helmet. Ever. So whenever explosions go off, it puts all the tension on your chin and blows your head back instead of cracking your neck right there. Alright, next up, after that, oh, by the way, I forgot to show the, show the materials of this one, sorry, I stutter. It's Kevlar, it's Kevlar and plastic, and it's got a few screws. This one is an older one from the 80s, it was my uncle's. So it doesn't have all that foam padding on the inside. It's just got the leather thing going around. So, next up, we got the Woodland uniform. Now, my, this one isn't exactly real, though. It is from a company that uses the real materials from the U.S. military. See, as you can tell, it's got the tags. So, so this actually is made to fit children, but it's made out of the real material. So mine isn't exactly real, so it doesn't have all the Velcro and all that. So this is the woodland pattern from the 80s. Though, the, though this one has been washed a little bit in the camera, so it, it looks a little darker than, than usual than it, here, than it is here. All right, then we got pants, which have, I think, four to eight pockets. They go like that, and then they have tighteners right there. You yank on those. So, here, this here, is the current U.S. Army. This one was shipped over from Ukraine. It's the current one. This one was actually used in Ukraine. This one is standard issue. I don't know what soldier is this small. It's got Velcro patches. It's got the pockets. Everything you might need. It's got zipper. But this is not this is not the battle one. This is the one you would wear around base, on leave. So then we got the pants. 
give me a minute. I gotta get this out. Okay, there we go. Alright, here. Okay, so. These are different than your usual pants. They've got four buttons. That one's buttoned up. And you'd button them. They take really long and get real tight. But it works. And then here at the pants leg, you can use this little string to tighten and untighten with a drawstring around here to make it tight around you. And then these are the standard issue army boots. They are steel toed. Gotta make sure you have protection. So. They are, they got laces, so in the U.S. Army, here let me see if I can angle my camera down, they're just like that, let me tighten it, I got it on a stand. Okay. Oh, wait. Almost fell. Give me a second. Alright, so technical difficulties. I couldn't lower the camera, but here I'm going to show you how to tie your boot without having too much lace. Because you don't want to trip over your laces. So, here i got to get it in a good angle. So, you take your two strings here. You tighten them around your leg. You bring them over. Usually this had a foot in it, so it would be easier. Then you cross it back, and then you bring it forward, and just do a start of a normal knot twice. Does that have to be nothing special? Uh, something like that. They don't hang down, and you don't trip over them. Usually they'd be a lot shorter because they'd have a foot inside. So, that's all I have today, but I will be showing you equipment next. Next will be equipment and standard issue rifles. I do not, I cannot actually own a rifle legally, so all I own is replicas. All right, see you later.